everyone. Shane here with RVs of America. We're the Black Series Camper Dealer out in Utah. And today we're going to be doing a tow vehicle, a Black Series tow vehicle video. And this is Michael's tow vehicle. Hey, Michael. Michael, this is your tow vehicle, is what I understand, right? Sure is. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's a 2015 Jeep Rubicon Wrangler Unlimited. Wrangler, okay. And typical, what's the typical towing capacity right out of the box on most Wranglers? So the JQU is rated for 3,500 pounds. Okay stock right out of the box um, but there's some things you can definitely do to upgrade it for the black series right yeah for sure so what have you done yeah so i've it's been re-geared my axles so there's uh in the jeep if you know about jeeps or you don't know about jeeps they have two solid axles and inside the axle there's a pumpkin down there and that's where the drive shaft goes in and then it runs to the axles and those axles spin the tires. And so there's gears in there um, and they have certain ratios um, that tell, that create the spinning. And so usually a stock um, Wrangler comes with 373, I think. Um, the Jeep Gladiator comes with 410s for their towing, for towing when you get the tow package. And so I've re-geared actually to 488 which is even more than that, which helps with towing, and also because when you go bigger tires, um, it helps with that too, so you don't break your axles. Okay, so so I'm, you know, let's say I'm potential potential customer, got a Jeep Wrangler, you know, whatever style, Rubicon, and they they wanna buy a Black Series. Which, which trailers of the Black Series line am I gonna be looking at, and which, which ones have you towed, personally? Yeah, so, for, uh, if you have a Wrangler and you're going to be pulling a Black Series, then you're going to be looking at the Patron, the Dominator, or the Alpha. When you get up into the caravans, they, they're too heavy, honestly, and you don't want to overwork your vehicle and put yourself in a dangerous situation. Perfect. So, the Patron weighs 2,900 pounds, the Dominator's 27, the Alpha is 19. So the, the Alpha is definitely the lightest and the easiest to pull. Um, I've pulled that around quite a bit. I haven't done a lot of off-roading yet with the Alpha, um, but it's it's the Wrangler pulls it just fine. Which one have you towed the most with um, this this guy? The Dominator. So I pulled the Dominator the most with uh, my Jeep um, off-road. So back we went down to Jeep Safari. Um, you probably you've probably seen some of the videos of our show down there, and we went out and did some trails. I actually did part of a six rated trail so they have if you don't if you don't know much about trail ratings they have a, a, a zero or one to one to ten you know and like three and four you can do in a stock four-wheel drive when you get up to six or more you got to start getting lifts and tires and at least one locking differential so it's a pretty good trail but I was pulling a trailer too. <laughs> so, so it, like an example, if you have been down to Moab, I think one of the more popular six-rated trails would be Hell's Revenge. So, pretty, pretty extreme stuff, especially if you're towing a trailer. Yeah. So, so we went on some pretty cool trails, and that was uh, how was. Now, I, if I recall, you had shortly, um, just recently purchased the Rubicon. Yes. Well, it was. Uh... The day before going down to Moab, I was like, I want to go on some trails, and I'm not going to take that stinking F-150, no offense to F-150s, but it was stock, and if you've heard from any of other videos, we definitely don't recommend taking a stock F-150 on a tough trail that requires clearance and lifts. So I was like, I found this awesome Jeep online, it was a good deal, had a bunch of modifications already, so I went and bought it. The one thing it was lacking, though, for our Moab trails was a trailer brake um, controller and hookup for it as well. So I had, technically, I didn't have any brakes on the trailer. So I was on some of the trails 
and the dips and the hills that I was going down, there was no stopping. I just kept going. <laughs> the trailer was pushing you. It was pushing me. So, so we highly recommend that. Uh, uh, obviously, if you're going to be looking at towing, the the first things, you know, with, with a Wrangler, if you're looking at those three different models, gearing and brakes. Yeah. We, we just... You know, we just really wanted to hit the trails, and we hadn't done the brakes yet. But I have brake snap, so. Good, good, <laughs> good, trailer. good. So, so I can hook up for everything in that essence. So, so, so you, the reason for purchasing this vehicle was what? Oh, to pull Black Series trailers. <laughs> there you go. So and this. I also, I'm a big Jeep enthusiast. I've yeah. had a lot of Jeeps, more of the CJs, but couple jk's but there you go so this is one of the black series tow vehicles and today we're actually out doing some reconnaissance um, we're gonna scout out some trails and see if we can take the black series up these trails and camp and the trail that we're going on, well, actually, it's technically rated six. I think a six to maybe a little bit more. It has some pretty um, difficult obstacles. Let's just say I was up here a little bit ago, and I saw a bunch of Rubicons turning around. <laughs> it's because they couldn't make it up the trail. So it's, it's definitely a, a, a stock vehicle. Definitely you're not going to want to do. But there you go. Um, this is one of our Black Series tow vehicles, a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I know Michael is going to be upgrading <laughs> soon to a Gladiator because he wants to have more tow capacity. going down not this way but this way I'm not entirely sure if you can see how terrible this is on the camera but I assure you it's pretty terrible you're fine over here yeah you're fine do you have like a hill descent this is extremely steep um go driver a little bit driver more right there now you can straighten out. Oh, he's sliding. He's sliding. He's actually not driving. He's sliding down this hill. Oh, geez. It's so steep. Okay. It's so steep. It's so steep. I'm sliding, too. I just almost slipped on my butt. Oh, my goodness. I'm like... This is unbelievably steep. I'm pretty sure that, well, look, look at this. Let me show you. Hold on. I mean, I'm about 15 feet down already, right? So, I mean, that's how steep it is. You can kind of tell.
can't quite capture how steep it is yeah. in the video. It's so that 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 last part in real life looks like a cliff. It actually looks like a cliff. Like you can't even tell. It's Here we go. Here's some uh, water crossing. Water crossing. A little bit of a river. There. Oops. incredible stability but it's really not a stable road I have dual stability the camera itself and then I'm also on a gimbal so like how's that for your stability and if it it may look smooth but it's not smooth it's not smooth at all, all right, you guys want out okay around a bit? we're most definitely planning to bring the trailers okay. on this trail. Fine, we'll get out. Go, oh, no, you're okay. So in okay. case you wanted to know, this is where we're going. It's a little bouldery, but not too bad. Little river crossing, little boulders. These are some pretty big boulders, if you can't tell. Okay, you're good. Go driver. <laughs> it's a little slippery. Okay, passenger, as hard as you can. You're gonna, you're kind of too far over. Right there. Passenger, sharp, sharp. Driver. Okay, straight up. Little passenger. Okay, keep keep passenger. All the way over here. Passenger sharp. There's a giant boulder. Wait, hold on. Yeah, you're good right there. You're clearing your front differential. You're you're already over it. Oh, hold on. your rear. Yeah, you're fine. You're going to climb right over it. It looks 
a lot worse in person. <laughs> this is like a, a drop off right here. It's like a, about a couple feet. It's hard to tell, but it is like so. You, I mean, if you're not, if you don't have the clearance, you might be able to climb with the front tire, and then you're gonna high center right there. But he was saying maybe go up through there, but I don't know if we'd have enough space with the trailers. Okay, I think we found our area right here. There's a nice flat area right near a meadow. You can kind of look over here and see there's just a nice little meadow. Hello, Argo. Argo, are you having fun? about this trail is I can guarantee you we will be the only trailers up here nobody else would dare bring trailers up here most people don't even dare to drive up here in vehicles I mean I see people in Rubicons lifted Jeep Rubicons turning around every single time I come up here I see somebody felling on the first obstacles. So, but here's our spot. We'll be back. Stay tuned for this video. So this is this was a reconnaissance video brought to you by RVs of America, the Black Series Camper Dealer. I feel like this was successful. We've seen what we wanted to see, and next thing is set a date to come up with the Black Series and see if we can conquer this trail. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Subscribe to our channel. Go to our website if you're interested in the trailers and the Black Series. It's rvsofamerica.com or call us, text us. Anyway, this has been a tow vehicle, Black Series tow vehicle and Black Series Reconnaissance video. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.